Hi guys, welcome back to Kit Car Direct and MK Sports Cars. It's cars and coffee day, and as you can hear and see by the atmosphere, an amazing turnout. It's our May one, it's a Sunday day, actually, today. So we've got a few of these events throughout the year, one every single month, a different day, actually. We've got Sundays, we've got evening sessions, we've got Saturdays, we're trying to accommodate all you guys out there so you can go and bring, oh, well, your pride and joy, and come and show it off to all these customers. And do you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna look around at people's prides and joys Let's have a wander in the car park. So we've got here, CBR car. This is Ben's car, as you know, you've seen it. It's quite popular, it's super clean now. We've done a little winter refresh on it. It's had some new arches, new bodywork, new SX arches on it as well. Looking clean and tidy, and it may be for sale that. If you're interested in a CBR car, may be for sale. So we've got quite a few other cars. We'll, we'll start, go clockwise, shall we? We go along, uh, so we've got Andy's car here. R1, RX5, MC, decent car. If you subscribe, you'll have seen that. That's uh, Pete's car. It's a K20, looking uh, rather stonking as well. And just get his registration plates. Same as Annie's, only newly registered as well. And uh, look at the number plate down here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, we've got Westfield. We've got Westfield Club here. Uh, they've turned up. All different things. There's Barry's turbo car there. I know he's got monster horsepower, up 380 horsepower in that uh, Mazda MX-5 turbo. Great car, really fast actually. Um, probably remember the uh, Exo Booster that was in the workshop. If you subscribe, you've seen that. He's come down and a little drive out as well. And we've got Dave's car over here, Booster car, another one, Gen 1, and quite a few Westfields, Dax Rush V8s, Z Tech Indies, another V8, <laughs> bike engine. I don't know who's that is. Who's is that? <laughs> don't know who's that one is. I'm trying to think, is that Chris's? Might be Chris's car. Let's have a look. I think it's Chris's turbo one, yeah? Nice clean car, yellow, do like yellow. Comes out really strong. That's a really nice Mark 1 Escort. I'd love one of them. It's one of my little dream cars. M&R's, uh, R1 in there. We've got Caterhams, we've got Daxes, more Westfields, more Caterhams, even a Lotus over there. So yeah, lots going on, probably about, I don't know, 30, 40 cars here today. So all different things that we've got going on from bike engine cars to, uh, to car engine. That's a nice colour, isn't it? That's different. I like that. That is a nice colour, very tidy. Little catering, carbon dash, look at it. Clean, clean car that, actually. So yeah, and down to, well, some of the originators of uh, the kit car scene when it started all out, which was the Duns. When even a Dutton here. I mean, uh, something you don't see every day now, you know, sort of 80s kit cars, etc. Quite a few Westfields. Again, another one you would have probably recognised over here. This was in the workshop. Um, with a really nice dashboard. Really nice, and a really nice engine bay on this. At the retro Ford cover, and we've done the carbon silencer on it, uh, which looks a bit more trick as well. And then you've got things like that, the DAX over here. It's got a ZZR 1400, ZX14, whichever way you want to do it. Um, Talky, nice engine, and another familiar car. Actually, here we go over an Indy that we've done the gear change on. If you watch the works at what gear change we changed from the uh, air shift system on it to a standard lever, and then we got um, three cars that you've seen quite a bit of camo car, hashtag Nigel's S2000. Um, great car, you know, cool number plate, actually, F20C. <laughs> S2000 engine, MK, I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool plate he's got on there. Got Dave's car here, Mazda Turbo, if you're into Mazda cars, they are very, very popular for us, actually, do a lot of these kits. And that sort of 250 horsepower turbo conversion that you see on down in there makes the car, just transforms it from a ordinary car into a supercar beater, really, to be honest with you, it's so fast. And then uh, the Black Panther sitting over there, a little bit dirty, he's had a little drive out on that, but um, yeah, Sport 200 model there. So that's that's what we've got outside. Still more rolling in, because it's actually quite early in there, so still more cars rolling in. In fact, no one's coming in the minute, but we head on inside now and show you what we've got in the workshop. Right, change the location, it's going inside now. So, I mean, there's so many people outside, probably 100 plus people out there at the moment, it's crazy. So inside, it's got a little bit quiet, where everybody's out there looking at all the lovely cars. This one here, what we got here, we've got an Indy RR, Hayabusa Gen 2. It's the white car we were building, it was stuck in the corner over there, but we put the stripes on it. Something a little bit different, not done purple before. Some may love it, some may like it, not, etc. but I like it a lot, it looks great. It's really transformed the car. 
That's one, but that is up for sale as well. If you're interested in a Gen 2 booster, Indy RR, full cage, flat shift up and down on it, dry sump system, CXRs, Wilwood brakes, padded seats, uh, digi dash on it, etc. It's got all the bells and whistles, and this car is also ready for race spec. If you wanted to race it in the Mag 7s and people like that, that could be achieved in that car. Also, we've got the Cup car. You're familiar with this, guys. Of course, I know we go on about them, but this is here. A um, uh, few little refreshes ready for Alton Park. We're trying to get this right. This comes out on the, I think it's the 3rd and 4th of May, 3rd, 4th of May. Uh, sorry, June, beg your pardon. This is how uh, we've done a few little bins. We've paired the front wings because they seem to be a little bit of a hazard when you're racing. We get a few of them, so we've done those. So the cup car's set on kill ready for Alton Park. Want to get involved in that series? Don't forget, hook up Atomic Racing RLM. They can talk you through the, the whole car, the process, and everything else. But wicked car. Then we got this, the chassis here, we were on about this the other week. Um, we started to do some mock-ups on this. Uh, K20 log manifold we're going with, and a small log manifold. And there's a lot of things about it doesn't make as much power as this and that, and etc. And we get all of that. So all you critics, you can write your comments below, we don't mind. But we're not aiming massive power with this. It'll be probably 350, 400 horsepower. Um, with that sort of, that turbo is just a mock-up one at the moment. But yeah, moving on with that, it's going to be a great little package, I do believe. We've rolled the striker out because this is coming soon. It's all been caddied up. Rolled the striker out. We're going to get this all road legal again, get it MOT'd um, so we can offer that test drive to show you what's available with the striker. Um, and that's a pretty little car, two litre Duratec, 185 horsepower. Goes really well, actually. Really like that. Uh, in here, let's move into this bay. We've got um, classic MK uh, ZR. Z 1200 in this particular one also for sale 10495 that's up for sale dry sump system it's got digi dash it's got wheel woods it's got stack gauges tillet b6s uh, seats in its carbon ones etc uh, it's just going to have a fresh mot and we're going to give it a freshen up change the perspex aerotrain and give it a little bit of a, a once over and that'll be available if you're in the market for i'm gonna say a registry entry car now at 10 grand sounds like a lot of money but that's where they are a sort of entry level bike engine so we've got that we've got uh, the sylvia leader here moving over uh, not something you normally having a workshop it's a, again a bit like the Dutton this is where everything started really these sort of kit cars um, the engines in here now I'm gonna lift this up it's fairly uh, heavy there it goes uh, the bike engine's been transported in here so we've got the bike engine in it's got the Gixxer 1000 in there um, still got the strap just holding it but the cradle has been made for that so that's all in and looking much much better and still the pop and the gear lever got the cage room over there so that was the top gear live car uh this is neil's project that he's been working on he's had his car quite a few years as you know restoration's cracking on that's on its on its ground all the four wheels this one's going to be for sale so if you're interested in uh catering with a two litre duratec about 230 horsepower got a lot of history with this car say hey, being a top gear live car it's full resto painted everything on this pearl white actually probably the videos and pictures don't do it justice really pops the pearl white in this uh, got kevlar seats and all that nice bit of kit if you're into a caterham and you like this kind of car with this sort of history hook up neil we'll talk you through the whole car i suppose then what else we got over here let's have a wander over here come on elliot this way this way this way so we've got got the mnr got the bodywork on that that's that's done uh, pretty much now and as you know we've got the turbo conversion under here a lot of the manifold and pipe work's been done then we've got the um, phoenix which is the sister car to the striker we've got that back out now again we're going for some front end stuff on that because this is going to be hopefully again looking to get to the market pretty soon um, certainly for 2024 anyway that's our goal with this particular car and you'll see some of these cars and the projects move forward when we're at shows and other events or if you come in each month you'll see these cars all start to progress and then we're going to look at this one over here what we got here is um, another car. If you subscribe to us, I suppose, you would have seen this being built, oh, a few years back now. So we've done a, it's an Indy R chassis, but it's been Indy R art, so it's fully and fully road jointed. We stuck the Gen 2 booster in, the, oh, sorry, Gen 1 booster in this one, actually. Gen 1 booster, turbocharged. It's got three maps, 280, 350, and 400 horsepower, 400 horsepower, which is why it's 800 brake horsepower per tonne, which is on the other side. It's got full air shift system on it. It's got everything on it. It's coming in for some work now. Again, this one, I think, is going to be going up for sale. So if you're looking for a booster turbo car, interested in this sort of thing, this thing is supercar slayer. 800 brakes per tow is absolutely 
absolutely mental and it is so fast. Standard Bucha is quick. This, another league, another league. So that's a tidy car, really tidy interior, aim dashboard. Oh, uh, look at this, come on, idiot. This is the airship system for it. I think it's a Tim Gray kit. Proper bit of kit. It's about four grand's worth of kit, that is, uh, to do that. But it's so precise, mapped in with the MBE and everything else. This, you probably saw on the videos actually on socials, nice little car, two litre Duratec. Really good engine, it actually made 230 horsepower at the wheel, so that's about 260 horsepower. But that was with mild timing put in because it's more of a road car. This is well capable of 250 horsepower at the wheels with this particular engine. Um, monster power, but now drivability power, which is more important for, for Russell and his car. So we're getting through the final process now, sorting out some bits on the rear end, tunnel top to do, a few bits for IVA that we're going to do, collapsible bosses and a few other trimming bits, and then this will go off do the emissions for IVA and everything else, so that's the final job. But yeah, nice car, two litre Duratec under here. It's got a Mazda NC Mark III, five-speed box in it, LSD in it. It's got our Wilwood Brake 265 kit on it, built it uprights, built it rear uprights, nice interior, dash, Digi2 on here. It's it's carbon bits on it, carbon front wings, carbon rear wings, carbon fit boot cover, seat pads. All the bells and whistles, actually. It's a nice, nice bit of kit, and of course, the free wheel for the indicators and everything else as well. So yeah, ni nice tidy car. So that's sort of where we are in the workshop. Right, here we go, guys. Well, we're sort of drawing to close here at the Cars and Coffee here at MK Sports Cars and Kit Car Direct. It's been an awesome day seeing all brands here. Daxis are starting to leave out now. The sun has finally come out, shown its appearance. It was a bit cooler this morning. The sun's come out now, so the guys are gonna have an awesome little ride back home in there. Well, whether it be a Caterham, a Westfield, an MK, plenty of MKs today, guys, so thanks for your support and showing up in those. Everything from bike engines to Mazda turbos to S2000 cars, absolutely stonking. So, yeah, it's been a good crowd. We've had some food here, plenty of teas and coffees gone down, lots of nice customers to see, lots of nice people in there showing off their, well, their weapons now, and they're just going to have probably the best fun ever with a smile on their face get home and spend the rest of the day but keep an eye out on the socials guys we've got another event coming up soon it'll be in evening sessions we've got weekend sessions one every single month so if you want to get into your pride and joy bring it down here show all these like-minded people what's going on and what you've done and what you've built i'd love to see it down here at mk sports guys or if you want to get into a car you think gosh i want to build one of them factory build or kit build you know, build that sports cars at home in your garage, self-assembly, then hook us up, phone call, email, and come and see Andy and Neil here at the workshop. That's it, guys. I'm signing off from Kit Car Direct, MK Sports Cars, Cars and Coffee. Right, while we're here, staying over the chassis time, let's get to chassis register time. It is that time of the week. It is up on this side. If you're in the queue, congratulations. I can't wait for your project to start. If you want to get in the queue, hook us up with a phone call, email, speak to Andy here, or come down and see us at the factory. We can talk you through the process, get you out in a demo car, and have a little bit of fun, and start your next project.